Hey boo, welcome back. I'm gonna give you the tea on how everything looks once you remove your pill and stick anything, okay? I know if you've seen videos from me before, you know that I am a huge fan of pill and stick anything. So I cannot wait to show you how things look after. Guess who has water damage? Me. All right, so my toilet started leaking and I had to pull all of the pill and stick in the bathroom up. Now, this pill and stick has been down for almost three years. And majority of the pill and stick products that I have applied in my apartment have been up for about four years. So you're gonna get a chance to see how well they remove, how well they held up, and you're gonna be able to see exactly how I threw my arm out by removing all of this by myself. So if we haven't met before, hi, my name is Wayna and I make rental friendly interior design videos. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I pulled all of my peel and stick products up. And I want to caution you because if you have been following the channel, then you know I am currently in physical therapy for my shoulder. And I'm not gonna blame it on this project because I am a registered nurse. So I'm pretty sure my profession has worn my shoulder down as well as my love of DIY. But I wanna make sure that you're safe. So always have someone help you when possible and take breaks during your DIYs. Do not overstress your body because you only get two arms and two legs, so you have to take care of them. All right, so with that out of the way, I wanna show you how I removed a lot of the adhesive that was left on the floor. If you seen my video of me installing this floor, then you'll know that I used a plastic liner on some of the tiles. Now to keep everything down, I did keep some of the tiles uh, intact and just put it down directly on the floor. So I did have some adhesive left on the floor, but all I did was use some Gooby Gone and I got that up, but the floor was pretty oily. So then I used some baking soda and it soaked up all of the oil very well. And I was able to just kind of pick everything up with a dustpan. So if you are afraid of the sticky stuff on tile floors, do not be. It literally turns into a paste once you apply the baking soda and you won't have any problems, I promise you. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you like the video?
because my pill and stick flooring was ruined in my bathroom, I actually got a new cabinet, a new sink, a new faucet, all new stuff. Let me give you the story real quick. I came back from out of town and when I walked into the bathroom, I saw water coming up between the cracks of the tiles. So I cleaned it up and then that same night I seen more water. I'm like, okay, this isn't good. So the next day I went to the leasing office and I told my leasing office that I needed, you know, to have my toilet checked. Well, come to find out my toilet wax ring needed to be replaced. So I had to pull all of the pill and stick up, which I actually did the night before. And because the water kind of damaged the cabinet, they went ahead and replaced everything. So that was a good thing for me. Something good came out of the negativity of me having to pull my pill and stick flooring up. So after that, I decided to just pull up a lot of different stuff which if I knew that they were going to replace my cabinet, I probably would have left the pill and stick on there. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, I just real cheap, but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these in
Now sis, if you need some help with decorating your living room, I wanna let you know that I have came up with the most comprehensive workshop for decorating your living room. I have literally been taking you guys' questions for over three years and creating different programs and different ebooks and different videos. And I have compiled them all into a workshop and you can get it down in the comment section below. It's basically going to walk you through everything you need to think about as a renter that's going to make your dream home nice as well. So I want to set you up, you know, so that you can have nice things now, but they'll also serve you well in the future, whether you stay where you are or if you get a home. So if you're interested and you need some design help and you want it on a budget, I got you. You know, I got you. Check out the comment section down below and I'll have a link to where you can shop the workshop. All right, back to the video. you when you go to remove your peeling stick products please please get help okay I don't care if it's just getting a kid to hold the blow dryer because I recommend you use a blow dryer and I recommend you using um, you know even pressure and moving slowly but do not try to do what I did okay do not hold the blow dryer in one hand and pull with the other I am currently in physical therapy for this very reason okay don't do as I do do as I say that type of situation now if you want to argue in the comments and do it all right see you in physical therapy whatever overall i was pretty satisfied with 
how things looked once I removed everything. I feel like this is pretty renter friendly. Um, always check your lease. I know a lot of times people say, did you ask your landlord? And I'm like, no, I didn't because conversation means nothing. You have to check your lease, read your lease, honey. If your lease doesn't say anything about it, have fun. If it specifically and explicitly says it in your lease, then you may want to try to get your, get your lease to be modified. But just going off of what somebody says is not going to hold up in a court of law. So you do you and I'm going to do me. But mine covers me. And like I said, everything turned out good. There's no stickiness anywhere. I didn't ruin the walls. Nothing crazy like that happened. So the other thing that I want to point out is that the LED lights that I removed in my son's room did damage the wall. Now, if you go back, you can never say that I ever recommended that product. My son wanted to put them up in his room because they were super popular. I thought it was a bad idea. I personally only like to use LED lights in uh, places like a uh, TV. I think I did use LED lights. I put them on the back of his television when I did his bedroom makeover because it's hard plastic, but I would never recommend you to put that on drywall. I just wouldn't. It's too tacky and the material itself is a little bit heavier, so it's going to pull the paint off no doubt like you saw so that will probably be my biggest suggestion so in this video you saw me pull up all my pill and stick i mean i pulled up pill and stick flooring pill and stick backsplashes i was also able to relocate my television and show you how the uh, hangman tv hanger is easily transferable and easy to remove and how it does not damage the walls so yeah I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> All right. As always, be you, be beautiful, be chic, and I'll see you on my next upload. Later, boo.